Hey folks, Wade here again. Hey, uh, I'm going to try to give you a little bit cleaner video this time around than I did last time on the Vance Atkinson pitch trim install. So I think I pretty much got it. Uh, I'm going to have to do some cleanup actions. Right now I'm just showing you the actuator motor. As you can see by this mounting bracket right here, I may not have explained that well enough last time. With the way this bracket is right here, this mounting tab, this whole assembly can go up and down. But it doesn't need to go up and down, it needs to go left and right. Therefore, I made this bracket right here that swivels, that this is attached to via this quarter inch bolt. This of course is not the final quarter inch bolt. but So this bracket, the swivel bracket, then attaches to the main bracket, which is attached through this hard point that Marco machined for me. And I had to cut basically in half. Now, to keep this assembly from pivoting forward or backwards when pressure was applied to it, I had to put this small bolt in. And if you can see, with that hard point right there, this will all get filled in with foam and flocks and a couple plies of glass. So that's this end. This is the business end as far as the motor. It's turned horizontally so that in this area right here, I have clearance for my foot for this rudder pedal and brake pedal right here. Now there's one other thing that I was trying to accomplish, which I finally got tonight. And that's right in there where I'm shining the light. This area right here, back in there, I was trying to get that about uh, a tenth of an inch maybe uh, 0.15 inch away from F22 to the edge of that, uh, that edge of this actuator right here. Actually this right here is not even really the actuator. It's the potentiometer that through this cable right here sends reporting data to the EFIS as to where the actual position of the pitch trim unit is. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut off right here and I'll pick back up in just a second to show you some more of this unit. Okay, tonight, as I mentioned before, I took the bracket off here that Marco had made. He did a great job machining it. It was a beautiful bracket, but the geometry of how this thing is working right now I just needed this whole assembly right here tied in as close as I could to the control arm. The one thing that I failed to do, uh, which I get the Moron of the Year award for, is that the extension right here, hopefully I'm not making too much noise with this, but the extension right here of the throw on the actuator I actually had it all the way in and I forgot that. So when I drilled the original hole, I of course drilled an extra hole. Then when I threw the switch, I just happened to throw it so that the elevator would go up, which it did nicely, but then when I threw the switch in the opposite way, it took it back to zero and since the actuator was all the way to zero starting out, it just took the elevator to neutral. So after figuring that out a little bit and uh, messing around with that, I realized that I needed to take the actuator and actually push it out halfway. It's a three inch throw, so I, put, I extended it an inch and a half and reset this bolt right here. So I'll have to contend with this part of the elevator control tube to get that patched up. Okay, so I've ran the wire, the actual power wire, to my battery right here, the PC680. Now here's the control stick. I've gone ahead and left this box in here right here because otherwise this control stick wants to flop over. Because I don't have any elevator pressure on it, or I'm sorry, uh, aileron pressure on it right now. So it just wants to come over 
since it leans about five degrees and that infinity stick is kind of heavy it just flops over to the left okay so I have my switch right here I'm gonna throw this I'm gonna show you the actual pitch trim and how it's working so that's maxed out right there you can kind of hear some grinding I'm gonna have to put some control stops in there but you can see now I don't know if I got to it fast enough but the stick has moved all the way forward just because of the uh, the uh, throw of the actuator there so it's working pretty good now I'm gonna go ahead and pause this for a second and switch the leads and then I'll come back and show you the other direction okay I'm back so I'm gonna do a wider angle view this time so that you can see both the elevator in the distance and you can see the control stick I'll actually do this so that you can see all this stuff right here actually with the pitch trim actuator as well so here we go you'll actually see how far down the elevator goes so it's pulling it back so that little tap right there is it hitting the control stop on the bottom of the the um, canard so that's it so now you can see how far back that goes there is a little bit of twisting, minimal I think. I'm going to have to flight test it. I think this is good to go. Um, we'll see what if we have any types of oscillation or you can see it back there. I mean that's a pretty good throw all the way down and of course unless uh, you're coming in on landing or something like that I don't think that you're often going to have to be that far down. Now I say that having not flown a long easy so it uh I may get other people saying that I'm completely wrong, but that's all the way down right there as far as the elevator, which of course is nose up. And then you can see right here the distinct difference between uh, the movement on the control stick. So that's it right now. Uh, I have some cleaning up to do both on this bracket up here because I've punched a bunch of holes into it as far as trying to set it in place. So I'm going to have to clean that up or make a new one. And then, of course, the elevator tube, which I've nicely punched an, an extra hole into. Uh, I guess I can say that I'm just trying to lighten it up. But uh, So I'm going to call this good, uh, again, with some cleanup actions. But overall, the actual uh, configuration and uh, the installation of the pitch trim, uh, it's good. So, hey, thanks for watching. Again, this is the Vance Atkinson, I'm sorry, the Vance Atkinson pitch trim. And uh, he ended up in here. And uh, I guess I could show you quickly. I'm going to have to pull this box out. But uh, this is all the way to the left. And this is all the way to the right. And those are maxed out in those positions. And then also... I'll show you, even though it's all the way down, I can still move the stick forward. Now it only brings that up to zero, pretty much, but that's all it's got. So of course I would have to retrim it, but um, the control stick force isn't, the spring force isn't too bad. So, uh, of course, if I had this hooked up to a control relay, I could show you everything all at once, but I'm just, winging it kind of right there but there it is full down controlled by the vance atkinson pitch trim so that's it out here hey thanks for watching cheers